from being accused of forcing himself on a woman after the NBA Finals game, to going into his fight at UFC 264 with an injured leg. Here's how Conor McGregor is ruining his own career. McGregor's often having trouble with the law, but in his recent appearance at the NBA Finals game, the Irishman faced some serious accusations of assault, putting his entire career at risk. The alleged victim's statement doesn't only involve Conor and his crew, but also claims that the Miami Heat bodyguards were in on the whole thing, dragging the woman into one of the bathrooms at the Kaseya Center, where McGregor was waiting to force himself on her. That's not all, though. The bodyguards also trapped the victim in the room, blocking her escape. Naturally, the UFC couldn't stay on the sidelines, with one of their starfighters at the center of this controversy. For now, though, the promotion's looking into the whole thing and not making decisions until the legal situation plays itself out. But when it does, the consequences for Conor aren't looking so good. See, the former two-time champion is making his long-awaited comeback against Michael Chandler, and the UFC's been hyping it up for months. But if he's found guilty, McGregor's fight might get delayed or even canceled, leaving the future of his career uncertain. To stop things from getting worse, Conor's legal team responded to the accusations, and guess what? They denied the whole thing, turning the tables on the alleged victim instead. Since McGregor's one of the highest paid UFC fighters of all time, he's able to afford lawyers that can keep his reputation squeaky clean. Cause let's be real, he needs all the help he can get. According to the Irishman's team, when they refused to pay the alleged victim, she looked for the media support to make Connor cough up some money. So they aren't just declining her demands, but also accusing her of going after the UFC star's wealth. Hell, McGregor's lawyers even called the whole situation nothing more than a shakedown. They're so confident in Connor's innocence that they're openly welcoming all investigations. Some fight fans claim that McGregor tried to save face by posting wholesome family pictures on Father's Day. But that didn't go as well as he'd planned. In a photo, the fighter is seen kissing his spouse, Dee Devlin's belly, since she's pregnant with his fourth baby. So if he really did commit the crime, it'd be the ultimate act of betrayal to his wife, who's been there for him through thick and thin. Usually, legal teams are able to sweep these situations under the rug, but after the incident took place, TMZ released a video of the whole encounter happening, making it way harder for the Irishman to talk his way out of the drama. Picture this, Connor walks over to the woman, grabs her hand, and leads her into a bathroom, not to mention the security quietly coming in and guarding the door. Yeah, things aren't looking so good here, are they? Of course, whatever happened in the bathroom can't be confirmed, but after seeing clear evidence of McGregor singling the woman out, most would assume that the Irishman's been caught red-handed, but his lawyers had other plans. Like I talked about before, the alleged victim's statement claims that the security forcefully dragged her into the room, and the UFC star was already there waiting for her, but the video showed otherwise. Connor's legal team used this to call her accusations unreliable, saying that the whole story was made up. The woman defended herself by saying that she'd been drinking the whole night, so her memory isn't clear on the details. But either way, the video did prove that the two shared some private time. What could a married man need from a random lady? That too in a closed room at a party remains a mystery. But the evidence obviously doesn't support Connor's side of the story. The accuser also gave in her clothes from the night to the police for a forensic investigation, so she isn't shying away from the case being investigated either. The Irishman's bad behavior doesn't end there though, because he also sent a mascot straight to the hospital with his lethal fist that same night. In a failed attempt to promote his pain relief spray, the UFC star took to the basketball court to talk about the product. He had a whole skit planned with the Miami Heat mascot Bernie, involving the costumed man approaching McGregor to fight him. The fighter then swings at Bernie with a left hook, sending him flying back, following that up with a straight right to the head of the mascot on the ground. After that, the whole crowd erupts in boos for the Irishman. But the selling point of the skit was Connor spraying the mascot with his product to take the pain away, while he was being dragged out of the court by his feet. As if the skit wasn't bad enough already, the mascot was injured so severely from the beating that he actually ended up going to the ER. After hearing this, fans were obviously outraged. Looking at the video, you can't really tell how much damage was done, but some fans believe Connor was swinging his punches with full force. So for someone with such deadly skills, this was just irresponsible as heck. McGregor's already put the situation behind him though, claiming he'd visited the injured man later, hugging it out with him. But not everyone's ready to move past it. 
I mean, even Dana White wasn't a fan of the skit. Despite that, he had to take Connor's side, and Victim blames the mascot instead, saying that he was dumb for letting a UFC fighter punch him in the first place. Honestly, I'm just wondering how much longer the promotion can stand by McGregor's actions, because the fans clearly aren't on his side anymore. Yeah, they're tearing the Irishman to shreds on the internet. Once upon a time, Connor had the most loyal fan base a fighter could ask for, but his fans just aren't here for his behavior anymore. Even the most loyal supporters of the fighter have made a clear distinction between Connor the fighter and Connor the celebrity. They love it when he's in the octagon, unleashing his wrath on his opponents. But fans absolutely hate how much the fighter has changed after all the fame and success. Another fan claims that McGregor will never be punished for his actions, because now he can keep committing crimes without facing any consequences, because of all the money he has. But most of the MMA fan base seems to agree on one thing. The Irishman is heavily under the influence of the white stuff. Let's be real, would any sane person behave like this? According to Twitter, that's the only logical explanation behind his rash actions. And right now, his fans really don't want to defend him, even going as far as to say that he shouldn't be allowed to leave his house. The guy's a straight-up threat to society now. With McGregor's crimes growing more aggressive by the day, I'm pretty sure his legacy is going to end up in the dumps by the time he retires. As one fan summed up the sentiment towards him perfectly by recapping Connor's antics, saying that maybe punching mascots, stealing phones, driving recklessly, and assault allegations are enough proof to finally call him a bad person now. Like these aren't one-off incidents anymore. This is just who he is now. The former double champ's attempts at destroying his own career don't stop in the octagon either. Let's not forget, he risked an injury that could have marked the end of his fighting days in a match against Dustin Poirier. Fighters have been known to stick through infections and fevers in big matchups, but going into a fight with a devastating leg injury against one of the heaviest hitters in the division is a whole other level of irresponsibility. Obviously, McGregor ended up snapping his leg so badly that it needed surgery. The fighter had stress fractures from carelessly sparring without shin pads, and after discovering his injury, he still kept training. Talk about being reckless. According to McGregor, though, he focused more on his ground and pound because of it, but he was pulling Dustin into his kicks by grabbing his gloves during the fight, which is an illegal move. So all that training was pointless if he was going to fight dirty in the end. And if the fighter hadn't already damaged his career enough, after losing the match, Connor threatened to kill Poirier, while also implying that his wife was flirting with him. Where does it stop? Safe to say, any remaining respect he had for the sport or his fans went straight out the window that night. And if McGregor doesn't turn his act around soon, his career is gone for good. So, there you have it, fight fans. From going into his fight at UFC 264 with an injured leg, to being accused of forcing himself on a woman after the NBA Finals game. This is how Conor McGregor is ruining his own career.